Do you want to find out if a point is inside or outside a polygon? You might think this is super easy because you have eyes, but computers don't. So how do we figure out if a point is inside a polygon? If we just draw a simple ray shooting out from this point, we can see that when we're inside a polygon, we have an odd number of intersections with the walls of that polygon. But when we go outside, we have an even number. So how can we use this piece of information to create a program where we can very easily determine if a point is inside or outside a polygon. So here we have our polygon and we can place a point within it. And this point will have Cartesian coordinates or X and Y. And we'll just refer to these as XP and YP. Now, if we take two coordinates for one of the sides of this polygon, such as X1 and Y1 and X2, Y2, and they describe this line here, then we can determine if there's an intersection with this line. But first, we want to see if we even need to do that calculation. So we can see if the point is between the y1 and y2 values. Now, if it does, then we need to calculate the intersection point here. We need to find out what this value is. And to be quite frank, the only thing we need to know is the x value, because of course the y value will be equal to yp. Once we've calculated this x value, we can determine if our point is less than or greater than it, because if it's greater than it, we can just ignore it. There's no intersection because our ray won't cross that line. So if we just consider this line, we can describe it with that really simple equation of y is equal to mx plus c. And m, of course, is just the gradient. So m will be equal to y2 minus y1, or the change in y and x2 minus x1 or the change in x and we can plug everything back into the y is equal to mx plus c using a y and x value we know to calculate c because we now know m so you can see here that c is equal to y1 minus m x1 when we rearrange our y is equal to mx plus c will come out to be x is equal to y minus c over m but we now know c and m and of course we've got the yp from our point so we can just simplify this even further because in the C we have an M as well so we can cancel these two tidy up our equation a little bit and we end up with YP minus Y1 all over M plus X1 so now we know how to calculate the X coordinate of the intersection let's code this up so here we've got a whole load of code that's just going to work through this function and it's actually really simple i just split it up into some smaller functions to make it easier to read because this is really the key thing that we're going to be interested in we're going to have a polygon which will be defined down here and it's just a series of points and we'll have a look at this little bit of code but nearly all of this is just to do with visualizing it so the first thing we're going to do is initialize a count at zero and then using this for loop we're going to define a point A and a point B, which allows us to iterate through the sides of the polygon, starting from wherever our first point is, and we actually do the one back from that, and then we go around like so. Then what we do is we check if our y coordinate of A and y coordinate of B are not the same, because if they are the same, we have a horizontal line. And we just want to ignore that because we're drawing our ray in the horizontal plane. Then we also want to use this function called is between to see if our point is between the A and the B Y values. So we're just doing that little check that we had initially to see if it's even worth calculating an intersection. And the is between method is just doing something really simple. It's checking is Y1 larger than Y2. If Y1 is larger than Y2, then our value has to be both less than Y1 and greater than y2 or our value has to be less than y2 and greater than y1 if neither of those two things are true then we just return a false because it's not bound within those two y values so now that we've managed to decide okay so our point is actually between those y values we need to get an intersection and i just did this little formula called calculate intersection and this can actually be really helpful because it passes back the intersection coordinate when we calculate the intersection we calculate the m value Value. And if you can remember how it was before, we had our YP minus Y1 all over M plus the X1. So this gives us the X value and this is just our Y value, which just comes from the point. And then we return it. So we get our intersection back here. Now, if our intersection is greater than or equal to 0 0.0, then our 0, 0.0 is to the left of that intersection. So now we need to count it. So our count will increase by one and 
will carry on checking round the sides. Once we've completed that, we do this simple check to see if the count modulus two, so if it's divisible by two, this will come out as zero. If that's true, we return false because our count is even. But if it's not true, then we know we have an odd number of intersections. And so we can return true because the point is inside the polygon. So that's how we use it, but how can we test it out? Well, we can use the random function to enable us to basically spawn a whole load of random points. And I'm just using Pygame for this visualization, but we basically have a bunch of random points, or we have an empty array here. And then when we start running this, every frame, we create another random point here. And then for point in random points, if it's inside the polygon, we color it, uh, I think that's a red. And if it's outside, we color it a yellow. And we then just draw the polygon on top. So let's see this as it runs. And there we go. You can see any of the points at the outside are colored yellow and any of the points on the inside are colored red because our check is working. It can tell whether we're inside or outside our polygon. I hope that's been useful to you. It's just a really quick video. And I know I've seen a really nice one done for this with JavaScript, which is where I got this idea for the visualization at the end from. Um, and I'll put a link in there because if you want it for JavaScript, it's a fantastic script. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.